Oprah looks good though, huh, doesn't she? People don't like her anymore because she's thin, right? That's what I heard, a big survey they did. I liked her better when she was hefty. She had more attitude. She took no shit when she was fat. Now she's too concerned. You ever notice her looking at the monitors all of a sudden? You know, every so often they go to commercial, you see Oprah. <laughs> I hate that. I, love, I loved her. She, when she was the best episode ever she had on these female madams. And this woman, Nicole, wouldn't answer any... Remember this? Like two years ago. This woman, Nicole, wouldn't answer any questions. It was the best Oprah. She was so pissed. She goes, today on the Oprah Winfrey Show, we're going to speak to female madams, women who sell other women. Welcome, please. Nicole, owner of a legal brothel in Nevada. Nicole, how much money do you make? How much do the girls keep for themselves? Nicole said no comment. Oprah kind of looked at her. We'll be back after this break. <laughs> when they came back from that commercial, Nicole was spilling her guts. <laughs> What do you think Oprah used to do when she was chunky? She had an attitude and those cameras were off. I think she got right in Nicole's face and went, girl. <laughs> I don't know if you've seen a name on a show when you walk in, but this here be the Oprah went for show. Yes, it is, girlfriend. <laughs> Let me introduce myself to you. I am Oprah Winfrey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And before you set that skinny white butt down on my couch, that's right, girl, don't be looking at me. I will put your ass on Sally, Jesse, Raphael. Yes, I will. <laughs> I have a very confident staff here, child. Yes, I do. I know they told you the rules before you sat down. Did my girls talk to you? Shamaya, Luanda, Latrice. <laughs> Oprah Winfrey, kicking ass. She's kicking poor Donahue's ass. He cannot get a guest. Last week, I had on a man who knew a mass murderer. <laughs> yes, indeed, Mr. Donahue, I knew John would be a mass murderer. Yes, indeed, I knew it. Every day when he was five or six years old, he used to come into my five and dime, he used to buy M&M's. That's when I figured it out. M&M's, mass murderer. <laughs> you guys been great. Thank you very much.